Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get-together live here on Facebook every day of the week at 10.30 in the morning, where we take a look at headlines, comments, questions, ideas, jokes, puns, good songs, bad songs, uh, crochet progress. I mean, you name it. it. We do what we do to connect with one another, to connect with our city, to connect with Mexico, to have a good day, to have a good time. And that's what we do. Nothing fancy. Here we are. It's great to see you. <laughs> it's great to see friends that are that are familiar with the broadcast. And if you happen to be a new visitor, kindly let us, uh, bleh, kindly let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comment. And that way we can give you a nice little welcome. It is Saturday and I whipped out another Saturday song from the archives. There you go. Enough to remember it, but not enough for YouTube to get all bent out of shape because we're playing songs that we shouldn't. It is Saturday, April 3rd. We have a little bit of news to share with everyone, but before we do that, let's just take a quick look at who is in the house. Raymond, thank you for rescuing me yesterday. Yesterday, I was out of coffee. I'm still out of coffee. I haven't gone shopping. But yesterday, as soon as we were done with the broadcast, I dashed over to Raymond's Bakery. I bought some really decadent breads and I got some coffee and I felt all better about myself. Raymond, it was great to see you. Um, let's see who else. Uh, oh, what a beautiful morning. Yes, you may sing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Paul, it's great to see you. Boston's in the house. That's wonderful. Uh, my next neighbor, Michal, is here. Great to see you, dear. Uh, let's see. Portland's in the house. Oh, that's another great last name. Karen. Karen. God, God go. God go? God, Godgel? I don't know. I don't know about your last name, but I'm fascinated by it. I love all these last names. I know it's a crazy thing. Um... Hello, Bill. Bill is new, and uh, Bill is joining us from Remance. It's great to have you here, Bill. I hope you enjoy the broadcast. Grab your favorite beverage. Feel free to connect. Let us know if you're just visiting for a few days or if you live here, if you have questions. We are happy to uh, connect as much as we can. Um, Karen, thank you so very much for that. I had such a great time Um connecting with my niece and my nephew and creating connections between them and our community. Um, it, it means a lot to me. Um, and it also means a lot to me because I've been planting or trying to plant seeds in their busy minds about having a presence here in Puerto Vallarta, particularly Alex. Alex is a playwright and playwrights, and we've had this conversation, him and I, are always looking for opportunities to showcase their new work. So um, Alex might be interested when time allows, and of course when COVID allows, to come here and work with local actors, local uh, theater people to empower them, to infuse whatever he can with whatever he is experiencing in Los Angeles and so forth and so on. 
Um, but it was it was just fun. It was a great afternoon, and I'm truly, truly grateful for those of you that tuned in. I uh, have received all the show notes that Alex would like me to share with everybody, so I'm going to be putting those together this afternoon, and I will put uh, them on the on the website, and I will put the video on YouTube for everybody to enjoy. Um, Debbie is here from Punta Perula. I wonder how you're doing in terms of tourism over there. I hope that the beach is not too crazy. Uh, Wanda also enjoyed yesterday's interview. Thank you very much for that, Wanda. It is very much appreciated. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Lisa enjoyed that too. Yay. That makes me very happy. Um, my own sister. And if my sister says excellent show, then it must have been good. <laughs> Hermanita, mwah. it's great to see you. Michal says Chicago. Yes, that was Chicago that I played. I love it. Although Carol King is, um, it, it is not Lynn. It, it was Chicago. It was not Carol King. But you know what? I'm thinking about Carol King today because one of the things that we need to do tonight is push our clocks forward. And I'm already thinking, okay, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and it's going to be like 10, 15 and it's going to be like 15 minutes till Sunday fun day and what on earth am I going to do? I'm going to be late. And that led me to think about that song by Carol King called It's Too Late. And maybe tomorrow we can feature Carol King and all these wonderful songs about being too late that are in the repertoire. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating because I haven't had coffee. I am not entirely sure. But here we are. Uh, Gary is counting days. Not that he's counting. I love it, Gary. I love it. Uh... Likewise, Raymond, it was great to touch base with you and connect. It's always great when I run into friends out and about. Although, again, with um, the Semana Santa being uh, going on in town, I'm barely leaving the house these days, but I'm going to go out later on today just to see what's happening. Uh, let's see what else. Needless to say, if you have any important questions or comments that you'd like to bring up during the broadcast, Please feel free to let us know by adding a Q at the beginning of your question. Thank you for that, Claude. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that very much. Um, oh, thank you, Christy. You know, this business of interviews, you know, I've done a couple of interviews here at Coffee and Headlines, and I'm always, um, I'm always concerned about certain people or certain topics Um not being of interest to everyone. And of course, my top priority here is to keep you cluster fascinated and entertained as much as I can. So I would love some feedback from you. Do you wish to see more interviews such as what we had yesterday? Um, do you wish for the interviews to be as long as yesterday or maybe shorter? Um, any kind of feedback that you can provide me and we can throw some surveys along the way. Um, I think I will I will appreciate that very much. I know I will appreciate that very much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Don't be the white rabbit on Easter Sunday. You're late. You're late for a very important date. Oh, gosh. that's Is that the Sunday? That's right. Easter Sunday. I wonder who's doing bonnets. Bonnets. Oh, my God. Something to wear for tomorrow. Where's my big walking hat? I don't know. We'll we'll. We'll see what we can do. Mark says that he thinks he worked with Katya on Criminal Minds. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that is on her resume. She's done a lot of things on different television shows. Thank you for that, Mark. And um, and I think we are good to go. I'm going to keep looking at your feedback, which is very much appreciated. But let us get started with some of the news that we have to share today and see where that leads us. Bam. Okay, so tomorrow is the day on which this year's official political campaigns begin in anticipation of Election Day on June 1st. This means that if you've lived here in Puerto Vallarta, you've seen them campaigning at busy intersections with flags and so forth and so on. You've seen them trying to attach stickers to your car. You've seen them painting walls when there's not supposed to. Um, that's what happens during electoral period in Mexico. 
Uh, for those of you that are new to this practice, well, it is coming and you will be bombarded in the radio, on the radio, you will be bombarded by cars with loudspeakers. It is what it is. Uh, this is what happens while uh, the different political parties are trying to get your attention so that you can vote for them on June 1st. Of course, with COVID in the House, Jorge Diaz Gonzalez, who is the president of the local electoral council, is encouraging all political parties to refrain from organizing massive events and to play nice with each other. For the rest of us, it is one of those things that we have to endure or celebrate or participate in. Um, I'm vowing to be more politically participative this year in the sense that I want to bring up more information about who the mayor um, uh, candidates are, what they bring to the table, so that even though some of us may or may not be able to vote on June the 2nd, at least we will be better informed as to, I'm sorry, June the 1st, at least we'll be better informed as, as to what goes on. Uh, moving right along, uh, Daylight Savings begins in Mexico tomorrow, as we were saying earlier. So tonight, before you go to bed, remember to advance your clocks one hour as the new summer hours go into effect at 2 a.m., these kinds of affairs always throw me on a loop. I always get confused. But tomorrow um, we will have coffee and headlines at 1030 local, which I suppose is going to be an hour early for some of you. I'm not entirely sure. The, the, the time change math is a course that I failed in, uh, in, uh, in college and in high school and in elementary school. I've never understood the concept. Um, now... Um, Authorities estimate that approximately 60% of tourism in town is from Guadalajara. That is according to this news note that I found this morning. Um, and when it comes to the beach, it seems as though most of the activity is taking place around Los Muertos Beach and Olas Altas. Other areas, such as Marina Vallarta, showed an increase in activity, but the beaches are not quite as packed. That said... I've seen photos this morning from Acapulco and the city and looks quite busy and, and the beach in Acapulco looks absolutely crazy. So if you've been near the beach here in Puerto Vallarta uh, these days, feel free to comment and let us know how things look, if uh, the tourists are behaving or not behaving. In fact, let me uh, switch over to see what your comments have to say. Let us take a quick look. Any length would be great. Okay, thank you very much. My sister goes thumbs up. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, ooh, Stephanie, happy birthday. Hold on just a second. <laughs> So there, happy birthday, Stephanie. I think uh, I wish you the very, very best of days and the very, very best of lives. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh my God, that was so weird to me, Lisa. I almost, I don't, I know, I don't know. I felt so weird being called uncle in the interview. I almost thought about telling Katya, uh, girl, can you call me by my name? But it, it is what it is. You know, it is it is one of those things. Uh, let's see. Thank you very much for that, Lynn. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, let's see. Sunday, fun day bonnets. I know, I know. Maybe I'll wear something special. Oh, yes, maybe I'll wear something special for tomorrow. I have to find uh, if my if my application that allows me to turn into a pickle allows me to turn into a... Oh, yes, I know exactly what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let's see what else. Maurice says it's very busy by the Grand Venetian. Uh, Doug says the beach at Plaza Dorada, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, we don't know exactly... 
uh, what's going on there. Are the beaches really emptying at 5 p.m.? Asks Mushi. Well, I've read elsewhere that um, that uh, it was um, that it's it hasn't been respected, and to that effect, you know, what can we expect? We don't have a million um, a million um, a million policemen available. And the reason I am, hold on just a second, let me mute myself for a second while I cough. The reason why I'm sounding hesitant just now is because on this other monitor, I am hearing back from Alex and Katia. That was a fantastic experience for us. I just saw over 100 comments on the live feed. I'm going to go through them today and tomorrow and comment when I can, said Alex. And just this morning, he says, um, I just went through the comments by your fantastic and dedicated audience. That's you guys. Appreciate your help in getting the word out and so looking forward to bringing our next movie to you and your audience in person. Isn't that fun? I am very, very happy and very, very proud of them because they have worked so very hard to fulfill their dreams. Uh, let's see... Glee says it's very crowded here, but we are being safe. Beach only one day and all were very well behaved. That is good to know. Uh, Susan loves the walks. Worry not, Susan. The walks are not going anywhere. In fact, one of the things that I'm thinking is having a two microphone, two person walk so that it works as an interview and it works as a walk. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. When is my birthday? My birthday is on July 8. Mm. Claude says, frightening amount of folks on the beaches and on the Malecon. Talk about huge pain, panic attacks. Not going there for a few more days. I don't blame you. Claude, if you need anything brought to your home, please let me know. <clears throat> ha! Logan says that walking around Basilio Vadillo and Los Altos has been like playing a game of Frogger. That is a very, very cute uh, analogy. I love it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, I think we are caught up. I think we are caught up. Any news on the movie filming in Miss Maloya? Well, for starters, I didn't even know there was one filming in Miss Maloya. Ray, I have not seen any headlines to that effect, but if I do, I will be happy to bring them here so that we can learn more about it. Uh, let us switch over to the weather. And here we are. Thank the maker that global warming is a hoax. Otherwise, you would be in a lot of trouble, says our carrot weather today. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you, Dina. I'll get back to you. Um, it is 29 degrees. It feels like 30. Uh, humidity is high, 55%. It's going up. Those wonderful, cool winter days are starting to fade away. Uh, our temperature in Fahrenheit is 84. And of course, the weather for this weekend, today we can expect a partly cloudy day with a high temperature of 31, low temperature of 21. Uh, Sunday, uh, that will be tomorrow, hello, uh, clear through the day, uh, high temperature 32, low temperature 19. Can you tell I haven't had any coffee? And then on Monday, uh, Monday, Monday, give me Monday. That was Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I don't want, I, oh my God, carrot weather doesn't want to give me Monday. Oh, there it is, Monday. Sorry, my bad. Monday, clear through the day uh, with high temperature of 32, low temperature of 19. So it's getting warm. It's getting warm. And Dina, we share a birthday. Let us share many. Are you in town? Because that way we can have a beautiful, huge party and have a good time. Uh, I have a couple of other um leisurely uh, headlines that I wish to share with you. The first one being, of course, Los Muertos Pier. Someone brought up the state of disrepair at Los Muertos Pier yesterday, uh, and today it is confirmed in this article from Noticias PB, in which we can clearly see how the structure may look magnificent from afar, but once you get up close, one can truly appreciate the fact that it hasn't received any noticeable periodic maintenance or TLC of any kind. Um, at this moment, it is unclear whether there are any funds available for its restoration or not, and what the source of those funds 
would be. So let us hope that it doesn't become so completely messed up that they cannot do anything about it. I seriously think that would be a total disgrace. And two weeks ago, we took a look at some of the improvements made at Puerto Vallarta Stadium, and now the improved facilities have been inaugurated by Puerto Vallarta's interim mayor, uh, Jorge Antonio Quintero Alvarado. A plaque was also installed commemorating the accomplishments of local athlete, local athlete Guadalupe Hernández Encarnación, who happens to be a front tennis world champion. I did a quick Google on her, and indeed, she has participated in quite a few Olympic events, and she has received many, many gold medals. Who knew that we have an Olympic champion here in town? Now, the day we looked at those photographs was the day in which my my camera, well, I deleted my <laughs> my walk by mistake. So if you'd like me to go back and actually walk with my video camera, uh, walk the stadium with my video camera, and maybe take a look at more eye candy, just let me know in your comments. If not, uh, we can certainly uh, schedule other walks, as I am already thinking about what we're going to walk for Wednesday. And, um, and as always, I welcome your comments to that effect. Sherry is sad to see the disrepair. In, in Los Muertos Pier, it was magnificent when it was when it was uh, inaugurated. I remember it was a big to do, and and there were lights shining in all colors and fading in and out, and it was it was quite quite a sight. And it is quite unfortunate that through the years, um, you know, it's just slipping through the cracks. Uh, uh, Sean says there is money for the pier at the stadium. Well, it is an interesting topic that you're saying this. It is an interesting notion, rather, because one of the comments that I keep seeing in news uh, that have to do with sports in, in, in our state, Sean, is that this uh, administration has invested more in, in sports than any other administration in the past. Um, it seems as though sports are more interesting or important to th than tourism, although I am just extrapolating here. I don't actually understand how it is that so much money is being spent in sports right now. It may have something to do with the pandemic because one way or another, you know, encouraging youth uh, or people of any age to participate in sports at a time in which we're being mostly sedentary because we're asked to stay home, it might be a bigger priority. But I, I, I appreciate your point of view, and I think it's definitely something to keep in mind. John loves the eye candy, so we will certainly endeavor to whip out that zoom lens whenever we can. Um, let's see. Lynn is asking, is the pier still safe? I think the pier is safe in the sense that, you know, you can up there. It's not going to crumble. It is definitely not going to crumble. But certain places where there are guardrails that would prevent people from accidentally slipping and sliding down or falling from it are now um, are now gone. And there are some benches that are gone. So, you know, should you happen to trip and fall and should your head land against a raw piece of metal that is rusted, that can't possibly be good for anyone. So it is not going to fall apart, per se, but it is definitely slowly and progressively deteriorating. Uh, let's see. Is that is that French for eye candy? Is that French for taco de ojo? Ran? I, no, I'm not even going to try because I don't know if it's rinse or rance. Um, maybe you can teach that to me at some point. But if that is really the expression for taco de ojo, I must learn it. You never know. Uh, let's see. Paco, I cannot access the foodies for Versailles. Versailles for foodies map. Can I help? Yes, I can. Let me put up a link for it um, on the comments right now. If you go to paco-ojeda.com slash FAQ, and I've just put that on the comments. Uh, that is where you're going to find the link. Once you get to the link, you need to be logged into Buy Me a Coffee, uh, which is what you use to make your contribution, and that should allow you to enjoy the map without a problem. If you have any problems, Monica, please let me know, send me a note, and I'll be happy to look at it um, more in more in more detail. Let's see what else. 
Uh, yes, this is exactly what I was saying a second ago. Um, I was at Ocho Tostadas and checked out at the stadium. Uh, improvements. It's becoming a full-on sports center. That's great. Actually, I'm glad to hear that you were at Ocho Tostadas, Mark, because the day I went walking, it happened to be closed and I was bummed out. I figured I certainly hope it's not because of the pandemic, but I'm glad that the Ocho Tostadas is operating fine. It's my favorite Ocho Tostadas, actually. So we will definitely go and check it out. Um, unless there's any other questions, I think we are pretty much at the end of our broadcast. Tomorrow, of course, is Sunday Fun Day. It is Easter Sunday, so a bonnet must be in the works. I'll have to improvise. Remember to change your clocks. And remember that tomorrow, particularly if you're new, remember that tomorrow there are no news. There is no information about vaccines. There is no politics. Well, we try to avoid politics, but there are no news tomorrow. Tomorrow, nothing is sacred. No one is safe. All we do is try to laugh uh, with each other, not at each other, and have a merry old time. So hopefully, I'll see you again tomorrow, 1030 as usual. And if not tomorrow, I hopefully will see you sometime soon. In the meantime, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and wear a lovely bonnet tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.